Welcome to both hands. In this lesson I'm learning to image numbers to 10 to solve addition and subtraction questions. Let's imagine I had six books on my bookcase and I've read four of them. I want to work out how many books have I not read. Now I'm going to use my fingers to help me answer this question. So the first thing I need to do is stretch out six fingers. You could do this on your finger, well, on your hands now. So hopefully your hands look like this. You can see that I've made six by stretching out all the fingers on one hand, which is five, and one more. Now the question says I'm going to need to fold down four fingers because there's four books which I've read. So I'm going to start by folding down this finger here. And now I'm going to have to fold down three more fingers on this hand. And that way you can see I've folded down four fingers in total. So it's easy to see that I've got one, two fingers which will still be left stretched out. So six minus four equals two. Now let's try another question. Let's imagine a classroom has got eight tennis balls. But over the term, they lose three of those tennis balls. I want to work out how many tennis balls will they have left. Well, to start with, I want to show eight using my fingers. Now put both your hands behind your back and see if you can fold out eight fingers. So hopefully your hands look like this. You can see I've got five fingers stretched out on one hand and three fingers stretched out on the other hand. Now the question says I need to subtract three. So still with your hands behind your back, you're going to need to fold down three fingers. So hopefully your hands now look like this. Five fingers over here are outstretched, and I folded down those other fingers over here. So if we go back to our question, eight minus three must equal five. Let's try another question. Let's imagine you look at a plant on Monday, and you notice that there's three flowers out on it. Then you look at it again later in the week, and you see that in total, there are seven flowers on it now. We want to work out how many flowers have come out during the week. So to start with, we need to show three fingers. So put your hand behind your back and stretch out three fingers. So hopefully you've got a hand behind your back that looks like that. Now the question says we need to have seven fingers stretched out in total. So can you think, how many more fingers are we going to need to stretch out? You're going to need to use your second hand to help you do this. Well, let's have a look under here. You can see I've got seven fingers outstretched. These were the three fingers that I first had stretched out. So you can see I had to stretch out one, two more fingers on this hand, and two more fingers on this hand. So in total, I stretched out four fingers. So three plus four equals seven. Let's try one last question. Let's imagine at the start of morning tea, there are four of you playing a game. Now, at the end of morning tea, the, there are seven people playing. So we're trying to work out how many people must have joined the game. So to start with, put your hands behind your back and use your fingers to show four. Now think to yourself, how many more fingers will I need to stretch out so that I've got seven fingers stretched out? So you're going to, you're going to need to use both your hands to do that. Well hopefully you've worked out that you needed to stretch out three more fingers. In case you got a little bit confused, let's have a look at what that looked like uh, with our fingers. Here's what I started with. Four fingers outstretched, 
and then I thought to myself, how many more fingers do I need to stretch out to have seven? So you can see I had to stretch out one finger on this hand and then two fingers on this hand, which is where I got my three from. So four plus three equals seven. Well, I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.